hundreds of people along the Riverwalk held the symbol of American patriotism during the 9-11 memorial hosted by the city of Naperville and the Naperville Exchange Club. We really want to make sure that we don't ever forget that tragedy, but also to see where we have come and how far we've come over the last 10 years. Attendees range from veterans to civilians to Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts lending a helping hand. We're here to help the Exchange Club uh, hand out programs and we're going to stay and watch the ceremony so the kids get a feel for what happened that day and what happened afterwards. As a part of the ceremony, several organizations presented colors and Naperville firefighters lowered the flag to half staff in honor of those who lost their lives 10 years ago. The Naperville police chief spoke at the ceremony honoring the policemen who died trying to save others. Your presence here today is a testament to the fact that you have not forgotten and that our resolve to never let this happen again is stronger than the will of those who wish to harm us. Chief McNitus announced the Naperville Fire Department will retire badge number 343, remembering the 343 firefighters who died. Each day that we place our badges on our uniforms, <clears throat> we will do so by thinking of the number 343 and what that badge, as well as the numbers on all the other badges that were lost, mean to us. Throughout the ceremony, residents sang as the Naperville Municipal Band played patriotic songs, which gave members of the community a time to reflect on the 10 years since 9-11. This year, retired Rear Admiral Richard Porterfield of the U.S. Navy spoke. Porterfield was commanding officer to Dan Shanauer, a Naperville native who died at the Pentagon. Porterfield shared moments of courage from that day. Two of them appeared around 8 p.m. because they said we are from CNO intelligence plot and we're still on duty. Both of them had been burned, both of them had been injured, but they were still on duty. After he spoke, Shanauer's parents laid a memorial wreath on the site of Naperville's September 11th memorial and doves were released in honor of the nearly 3,000 lives lost. Reporting from the Riverwalk, Michelle Corliss, Naperville News 17.